Hey everyone, Emtast here, and there is a lot of news about Season of the Worthy that just dropped today. There's a new trailer, there's a new season uh, timeline, and it looks juicy. Honestly, it looks like it could be one of the best seasons that Destiny has had. If you look at some of the activities that are being added, the rewards that are being added, and I am super hyped. Now, I'm going to play the trailer right now, but if you've already seen it, you can skip ahead to this time above my head <laughs> to skip the trailer. But if you haven't seen it yet, it looks really awesome. Taken out the primary engine. It's like they want this thing to drift off into space forever. Not forever. Guardian, the Almighty is plummeting towards the last city, yet we have no way to stop it. If it comes to it, we Guardians must be the ones to make a hard choice. So I'm going to go over this little timeline here, and then we're going to go look at the Bungie.net uh, post that they made. But new PvE activity. So there's the Seraph Tower new PvE activity. It looks like you dunk like balls or orbs in here to charge up uh, the Warmind or something like that. Uh, it looked really cool, but there also seemed to be a new enemy, which I'm going to talk about later. Uh, we we got to discuss that in a minute. We've got three of the best PvP maps from Destiny 1 coming back. Arguably some of the best maps overall for PvP and for balance. They're coming back. Trials is returning. New legendary weapons and armor, and it seems like there's a lot of them. Iron Banner Exotic Quest? Or is that just Iron Banner? I'm guessing it's just Iron Banner. However, there's no dot in between these. Now that might just be because it's the end of the end of the you know the list or the, the line, but it might be Iron Banner Exotic Quest, so I don't know yet. That could be interesting. There's a new artifact, so that's something we expected to see. 100 plus seasonal ranks, new exotic armor. Nice, we don't know what they'll be, but that's pretty sweet. New exotic weapons and a sandbox ability tuning. We expected that. Now, Grandmaster Ordeals are not going to be dropping until April 21st. Uh, so you're going to have to wait a little bit of time to do that, but most likely they're going to be so hard that you won't have the power level available, so it doesn't really matter. There's also going to be a new seal and endgame rewards. We don't know what that is exactly. March 13th, literally the first weekend after the season starts, Trials of Osiris. So I recommend grinding the new activity, get some new armored weapons, and then, ooh, look at this! Our boy, Trials of Osiris is coming. It returns every weekend. There's going to be a new seal, Trials themed, weapon, uh, trials themed weapons and armor. But look at this bad boy. On April 21st to May 11th, so it's going to be a short period of time, there's going to be a Guardian Games free event for all players. It's a class competition with new legendary armor. Now, I don't know if this is going to be somewhat like faction rallies, where if you play on a hunter, you earn points for the hunters, or warlocks play points for the warlocks. Uh, if that's the case, hunters are <laughs> hunters are probably going to win because a lot of people play hunter. But 
The Guardian Games is a brand new event. It's like the Olympic Games, and that's really cool. We don't know any details about this yet, but I can't wait to hear more. Now, one thing to note. Grandmaster Ordeals, these are most likely staying forever. Seraph Tower, probably a limited time event. Guardian Games, probably a limited time event. But Trials of Osiris, they have already said it is a full-time, long-term, never-going-away playlist. So every weekend for the future, Trials will be available. Grandmaster Ordeal, I'm guessing because it's getting tacked on with the Ordeal playlist, this will stay as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, on March 10th to the 24th, there's going to be some new legendary Lost Sectors, so this might be some big, maybe even harder Lost Sectors. And then on April 7th, there's the Seraph Bunker, and this is a legendary Lost Sector. Now, I'm not sure how different these will be, but I'm guessing these are going to be a little bit more beefy and maybe have some story implications. So that's definitely something to look out for. Uh, now let's jump into the infographic. So, the Almighty is crashing towards Earth. We need to power up Rasputin. We need to power up the War Mind so that we can deal with this. I can't wait to see that visually. If there's a big giant ship flying towards us, it's going to crash into the last city. And we are powering this up. We're either going to eviscerate this thing or do some tractor beam. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, but this sounds really cool. So time is running out. We've got the Seraph Towers that we need to charge up. And then there's going to be bounties and bunkers. Rise to Rasputin's challenge and clear bunkers throughout the system to reestablish communication with the War Mind. So these are those legendary um, lost sectors. So they're going to be little dungeons of some sort. I don't know if there's going to be crazy rewards. It's probably just a story point, but hopefully these are intense uh, little bunkers to dive into. You can see the Trials armor there. Absolutely incredible look. The original look. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at the Warlock here. This is amazing. I think... These weapons look fire as well. And uh, remember that if you go flawless, this armor is actually going to light up. It's actually going to have like a glow to it, which I think is going to be really cool. You can see some of the Trials of Osiris here. Uh, I don't know if you missed this. If anyone missed this, I'd be surprised. But um, you can go back and watch this if you're interested. But look at this. Trials is here to stay. It's a pinnacle PvP activity every single weekend. And it's a power-enabled 3v3 Crucible playlist. So you're going to need your power levels. But all Guardians at level 960 or greater can compete. So if you're free to play and people are trying to make brand new accounts, they can't just jump in unless they're 960. That also means that if you're playing right now, you'd better get your damn power level up to 960 or higher. If you're not this high level, you won't be able to play. So get in there. So I can carry you, twitch.tv slash mtash, make sure to sub. And look at this. Get multiple wins in a row to earn pinnacle gear. Win seven in a row to earn additional rewards and special access to the lighthouse. Beautiful. Can't wait. Oh, there's also a hat and a pin. But look at this. Some new exotics. So we've got Tommy's matchbook. This is uh, Tommy the Ghost presents us with a token of goodwill. Sure, it might just be a match, but all guardians need to light up the darkness in a spark. No clue what the perks are, but God, does that look fire. It looks like a, a Tommy gun made out of bones. This is the uh, artifact. Increase your power. I mean, it's just the artifact. It's not like you get to wield this around. It's not like it's an exotic sword or anything like that. This is just the artifact showing it off visually. Um, now, in the trailer, they showed off an LMG. I'll go through the trailer in a second and, and check that out. But they showed an LMG um, and, and some other stuff which is cool. Now, look at this. Season Pass. This is the armor from the Season Pass? Pretty cool. I don't know if I love the Titan. I don't know if I love the Warlock. It's fine. The cloak's kind of nice. But, oh my god! The Hunter is fire. The Hunter is fire. You cannot tell me that isn't hot. That looks so good. Uh, oh yeah, here, like, look at this. What is that? The Kvostov coming back? There's a little sidearm here. There's, like, a, an LMG. This looks sweet. The fourth horseman exotic is coming back. Are you kidding me? This is sweet. Really good. And you can also check out the season pass here. So, typically there's, like, an exotic in that first, first little thing here. But maybe we can see it later on. Usually, like, around level 36, there's an exotic. Can't click on everything. There it is, the Tommy gun. So the Tommy gun is most likely going to be the, the first thing you get. Okay, so this is like a war mind enemy, seemingly. 
I don't know if it's a boss or just a random generic enemy, but what if? Through this season, the War Mind lets out a bunch of these bots. These, these, these turbo bots. If they add a new enemy class or an enemy type to Destiny, that will be a very welcome change. I'm sick of shooting dregs. I'm sick of shooting thralls. Adding this crazy juiced up robot would be amazing. I don't know if this is going to be a one-time thing. It's going to be just this season. But even just seeing this has me hyped up. You know, you can see it kind of transforming here. Shooting. What? Oh, is that a laser beam? Right? I'm guessing it's going to be a boss just kind of the size. But, you know, it's got almost like a crit spot in the middle, like a Vex. Maybe it's just a regular enemy. Maybe this is a sniper version. I don't know. But I'm hoping that this is a, a, a new enemy faction or type that we're going to fight a lot of. Maybe they've gone a little haywire. Um, I'm guessing the new activity where we're igniting the towers, those Seraph towers, whatever. I'm guessing this will be who we're fighting. And there's got to be more than one, right? Or else it doesn't really make, make sense. I don't know. That's just my guess. That would be really cool. Maybe they're a security protocol uh, or something like that. And so can't wait to see more of that. All right, check this out. We got the SMG. Right, that's the matchbook. It looks like an LMG, which I don't know what that will be. Maybe they finally buff Xenophage. <laughs> and then the fourth horseman. So this is a rapid fire, like doo -doo 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 -doo, automatic shotgun, like the fastest firing shotgun there's ever been. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I know that a lot of people like it. It's kind of a nostalgic thing. It was never the best, but maybe it will be in uh, Destiny 2. Who knows? But that is exciting as well. So those three exotics for sure, I'm guessing the matchbook is the season pass and then there's two more, which seems to be the trend for every season so far. And I don't know if these would be tied to quests, but most likely. So I wanted to just say, this looks incredible. This looks really cool. These are just public events that are gonna pop up on the different maps. And, you know, you're going to have to complete the activity. You're going to have to charge that thing up. And I don't know. I don't know what enemies are going to be there. I don't see any dregs or vex or hive, really. But I see some bullets getting shot, right? Those look like, it looks like a dreg would shoot those bullets or a vandal. But I don't know. I have to say, though, it seems like PvE is getting quite a few awesome things. And PvP is getting Trials of Osiris back. It feels like it's a pretty well-balanced season. I think a lot of people were worried that this season was going to be all PvP, but it doesn't really appear that way. And my theory is, you know, Trials is just elimination, and they tacked on a, a lighthouse and some rewards. I'm sure many of the major systems were already created, or they had the assets for a lot of it, and so it left them time to create some cool PvE uh, activities as well. And that's really good news. That's awesome. I think this season has the potential to be one of the best for the community. Yes, Trials isn't for everyone, but there's new Nightfalls coming, there's these legendary, uh, you know, public event or these public events, legendary um, lost sectors, and it looks to be some story and actual, you know, campaign, if you will. Not, not a full campaign, but you're getting more lore, you're getting some time with the Warmind. I'm excited. This looks awesome. I'm so excited for this season. If you guys could... Make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash mtashed. Every weekend, I'm going to be streaming trials, and there's going to be trials highlights, but I'm going to be spending a lot of time on Twitch. There's going to be videos just like normal. I've hired an editor. I said that in a video, or I guess I'm saying that in a video tomorrow, but I'm going to be streaming a ton, and if you want to go to the lighthouse, you want to get carried, I'm going to be taking my subs every weekend, run after run after run. So if you want to subscribe to me on Twitch, if you want to support the Tash Man, if you want to follow me there, you're going to be eligible to do runs with me as well. I do a raffle system. You exclamation point raffle in the chat. You instantly get entered. I do carries for people that are paying subscribers. I also do free carries. So if you're there watching, you generate points in the channel and you're able to use those points to enter a raffle as well. So if you watch a bunch of the stream already, or, or, or if you're interested in watching the stream, you can be entered in that stuff as well, even if you're not paying any money and subscribing. But subscribing is definitely going to help. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.